Okay, so what do we got going on here? Well, we got this nice car speeding down the highway, and it looks like it's going to cover 15 miles or travel 15 miles in 10 minutes. And what we want to uh, compute here is we want to figure out what is the speed of the car specifically in miles per hour. So this is a, a typical kind of classic middle school, high school level math problem that hopefully uh, most of you out there can do right now. Now, if you think you could do the problem, you know, I would say pause the video and see what you come up with. But even if you get the answer right, you want to make sure that uh, you weren't guessing. You just weren't like manipulating the numbers and you're like, yeah, I got the answer right. But I was, you know, I really wasn't sure what I was doing. Well, that's, not the, that's not the point of what I want to cover in this video. I want to go over... Uh, a few things, okay? First, we need to know a formula, all right, to uh, figure out this problem. Formula, let me just write it out. Uh, the second thing is we need to know how to work with units of measure, okay? Because there's a couple moving parts here. I'm not going to get into this right now. I'll explain this here in a second. But we need to know how to work with units of measure and convert uh, units of measure. We need to know a formula. And then we need to know some basic algebra. Put this all together, throw it in a pot, mix it up, and guess what we're going to have? We're going to have the solution. All right, so we're going to cover this in uh, a second. Now, I certainly want to encourage uh, those of you out there that think you kind of know how to do this, then pause the video and play along. Use this as a little pop quiz, but again, I'm going to cover things that everyone should know here. Uh, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you could check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus uh, different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus, everything in between. And I have a ton of uh, test prep courses. So if you're studying for an exam like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, I can go on and on and on. I probably have your exam, and I can help you prepare for the math section of that exam. I also do a lot with homeschooling, so if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program, and then obviously help those either having a tough time in the current math courses. Now, one thing I'm a, a huge believer in is note-taking, all right? So you have to have great notes to be great in mathematics, and if your notes are not there yet, you can use uh, my notes to help you out. You can find the links to all the stuff in the description of this video. All right, let's get into this problem. So let's cover the formula first. So here's a formula, and I don't have this written out, but let's just kind of look at it for a second. And uh, we have R times T equals D, All right, You should know this formula. Now you're saying, yeah, well, listen, Mr. YouTube math man, I don't know what R is or T is or D is, but let's just kind of see if we can guess, right? All right, so R is rate, all right? This is the rate. Now, of course, we have a multiplication here. This is times, rate times, times time is equal to distance, all right? This is a formula. You should commit this to your long-term memory. Now, let's uh, look at some basic algebra here. So we have RT is equal to D, okay? Now, what are we looking for in this problem? We're looking for the speed of the car. Now, another word for speed is rate, and there's a lot of different words for it, velocity, et cetera, but rate is basically the speed. Now, time, okay, is, of course, uh, you know, measure of time. Now, how can we measure time? Well, there's different ways we can measure time, right? You can measure time as uh, in minutes, okay? You can measure it in seconds. You can measure it in hours, days, et cetera. Distance, same thing. We can measure distance in all kinds of different ways. We can measure it in feet, uh, miles, uh, inches, Etc. 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 It all depends on what uh, you know. If you're using a metric uh, system or the standard system, this is going to be kind of more of the standard uh, system, U.S.-based system. But of course, if you're watching this and you're, you know, um, you use the metric system, same mathematical principles uh, apply. Okay, so rate. All right, speed. Again, I want to know the speed in terms of miles per hour. Okay, not kilometers or miles per minute, okay, or miles per second. So again, we have to be thinking about uh, this rate in terms of the units of measure. And I'm going to get into all this again in a second. So this is the formula that we need to know. Now we're trying to solve for the rate, okay? We're trying to solve for R. So I like to be able to solve this equation in terms of R. So here I have R, uh, rate times time is equal to distance. How can I rewrite this formula in terms of R? 
Okay, well, this is something you need to be able to do is be able to handle basic manipulations of uh, formulas. So what we want to do is uh, write this thing uh, such that it's R equals, not RT is equal to D, okay? Because I want to solve for the rate. Well, to do that, what I need to do is divide both sides of the equation by T, okay? So R is going to be equal to distance over time. So this is an equivalent formula of this. And of course, if I'm solving for uh, time, uh, rate, or distance, I can use this formula to figure out what I'm uh, looking for. Now, if any of this is confusing, you know, I have a ton of videos in my pre-algebra playlist, in my algebra playlist on my YouTube channel on solving for a particular variable, working for uh, in an equation, or working with formulas. So again, this is super important basic math skills that, uh, you know, you definitely need to have, especially if you're studying any kind of algebra. All right, so this is kind of the basic setup. And with this in mind, let's get into the actual uh, mechanics of solving this problem. All right, so here is our formula, rate times time is equal to distance. Now let's take a look at our information. So we have the time, okay? So the time of the, the, the car traveled is 10 minutes. So let's just write this down for a second. Uh, distance, it went 15 miles. And then of course, I wanna know the rate, that's the question, the speed, right? but I want to know the speed in terms of miles per hour. So let's take a look at our units here. Miles per hour is, you can write it like this, miles per, let me do this over here to make this clear. Miles, uh, this little fraction bar right here, you say per, okay? This is the word per. Now everyone, you know, we're used to writing this as miles per hour, miles per hour, but it really means um, miles divided by hours, okay? That little fraction bar is, uh, you know, the word per, miles per hour. Okay, so hopefully that is clear. Now let's go back to um, our rate, because this is the speed again, right? I want it in miles per hour, of course, miles per hour. That's what the question uh, indicated. So we got to keep this in mind. Now, thinking about the units of measure, okay? Let's say, okay, miles. Well, I got miles. The car is traveling 15 miles, but you know, the time it traveled is in minutes. It's in minutes, not in hours. I need to figure out 10 minutes is how much of an hour. Okay, so we have to express our time, okay, in terms of an hour, okay, not in minutes. So let's go ahead and figure out how many hours 10 minutes is. All right, there's two ways you can approach this. And, um, Whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you're use, uh, used to is fine. Now, anytime you're dealing with conversion of units of measure, okay, there's something called a conversion factor. I'm going to show you two ways you can uh, do this. So the conversion factor for this is one hour is the same thing as 60 minutes. One hour to 60 minutes. Okay, so for every one hour, there is 60 minutes. This is what we call a conversion factor. Okay, now notice here. Let me go over here just to be super clear about this because this can confuse people. Is it true that 60 minutes right, is the same as one hour? This is true as well. Okay, 60 minutes is the same as one hour, or 60 minutes to one hour. But this is the one we want, one hour to 60 minutes. Now, why do I want this one and not this one? Well, when you multiply, what I'm trying to do here, okay, is get rid of the minutes uh, when you're dealing with con um, converting units of, units of measure. So let's take a look at this as a fraction, okay? So I have 10 minutes over one, okay? So 10, uh, I can write 10 minutes as 10 minutes over one, just to be super clear that our denominator here is one. Now our, I'm sorry, yes, our denominator is one. And over here, I have 60 and minutes down here in the denominator, and this is up in the numerator. So what you can do is these minutes will cross cancel, okay? So it's very, very important. So you want to get rid of minutes, and you're going to be left with only hours, okay? So, so this is very, very important that you understand how to con uh, convert these uh, units of measure. And I'm going to show you another way here that you can think about this if this one, if this particular uh, way confuses you. So, all right, so now we're going to multiply these fractions. So 10 minutes, okay, times 1 hour over 60 minutes. So the minutes go away, so it's going to be 10 uh, times one, which is going to be 10 over 60. Of course, we're left with the only, uh, unit there is hours. So we have 10 over 60 hours. Okay. Or one hour, right? So 10 minutes is, uh, 10 over 60 hour. 
So one sixth of an hour. Okay, so this is the same thing as 10 minutes. But again, I want to be working in hours uh, because I want my speed in miles per hour, not miles per minute. Okay, so again, you know, I kind of want to really explain this because, you know, the basic idea of solving this problem is not difficult. What is a little bit more challenging is converting into units of measure, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go ahead and take a look at another way we can do this using uh, proportions. All right, so here I have one hour is to 60 minutes, okay? And that is the same as how many hours X hours is to 10 minutes. So you can set up a proportion this way, and then you could just use the cross product, okay? So X times 60 is 60x, 1 times 10 is 10, and I could solve for x, just some basic algebra, divide both sides of the equation by 60, so I get x is equal to 10 over 60, or 1 6 of an hour. Okay, remember I was solving for x hours, okay, is the same as how much is uh, 10 minutes. So a couple different approaches, you can use a conversion factor, or you can use a proportion to solve. You really need to know how to work with this uh, in both ways, okay, so this is all basic math, but now we're looking pretty good, because we have our time now in hours, all right? So we were given uh, our time in minutes, but now we have our time expressed as hours. That's what we're gonna need. We have our distance in miles, okay? I have miles, I have hours. So I know that the rate or the speed of this car is miles divided by hours, okay? So let's go ahead and figure this out. Okay, let me just scroll down here a bit. All right, so let's review. So rate times time is equal to distance. That was the original formula. So I want to solve for rate, so that's going to be distance divided by time. Okay, so the rate or speed of this car is the distance it, tra it's, uh, it traveled. So it traveled 15 miles, and uh, the time, okay, is one-sixth of an hour. Now, this could be a little confusing. Now, you could change one-sixth into a decimal, but no need. Let's kind of work with this fractions. Let's not be afraid of this. So... What we need to figure out is this little complex fraction. So 15 divided by 1 6. And we could figure this out. It's not that difficult. So this is 15 divided by, okay, that's what this means, uh, 1 6. Now let's handle that real fast. Okay, so anytime we're dividing fractions, this is going to become a multiplication and this gets flipped, right? That 1 6 becomes. Uh, 6 over 1, and if you need help with fractions, I have a ton of videos on my channel uh, on fractions as well. So we got 15 times 6, all right, so 15 times 6 is 90. All right, so but 90 what? Well, it is 90. Let's look at our units of measure here, M miles per hour, okay? Now we could think of it this way, miles per hour. We don't write it that way. We write it this way, uh, 90 miles per hour. So, yeah, this car is going a little bit fast, but, you know, you know, a lot of people do travel that quick and even faster, as you know, on the highway. So this is not unrealistic, although this person is probably or certainly breaking the law unless they are traveling on the Autobahn or someplace, who knows, that has uh, 90 miles per hour. Right now in the United States, I don't believe there's any place that lets you go that. Maybe I'm wrong. I think there's maybe there's a couple highways that you could just go as fast as you want. But I think... Um, uh, for the most part, I think like 80 miles per hour might be the top. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, the bottom line is this. What I am sure about is that you need to know this stuff if you're studying any kind of algebra, basic math, middle, and high school mathematics. So um, if you got this problem right, okay, and you know what you did, and you're like, oh, no, I, I knew what I was doing and everything else, then I must give you a nice little happy face with a good old 1983 Mohawk, right, and an A+, plus, and we'll throw in 100%. Uh, for good order. So nice job. Uh, but if you um, didn't know how to do this problem, but now you understand it, then that's excellent. That's the whole idea of me making these videos is to help you out to learn this math. And if that is the case. Please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing a bit on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced mathematics. So if you like the way I teach, my goal is to always try to teach in a clear and understandable way. I like to explain math. I don't like to teach you know, like, you know, uh, from a top-down, you know, technical way, trying to make this stuff understandable. Everyone can learn math, okay, but you do need someone to teach it in a clear and understandable way, and hopefully I'm doing that. And if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all the videos I've made. Uh, but, of course, my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.